Hello everyone, I'm going to stick with the chart of gold for this video again this week. And um, if I can refer you to my 14th, the video of the 14th called Panning for Gold, go back and look at that for a background on this chart. But what has transpired since that time is so valuable in, in information and as far as trading is concerned and management and all of that, that I wanted to continue on and follow up with that video. As you recall, we had a trade that we took on the GDX Gold Miners Index based on the fact that gold had been dropping and the miners index had been going up. And here's that trade entry right here. And we did, did, did indeed move up and spent four days up before we came back out and got stopped out. But the things that are important that I want to show you is the reason I was able to know that I needed to stop out was number one, my management just calls for it. But number two, this price compression is twofold. It's coming from two different directions here. And uh, we talked about the compression coming in. And at the time, I felt like if we could break up below this no trading zone right through here, I call it a no trading zone, a zone where the market doesn't like to do business or a low volume zone, whatever. It simply is something that you can see very easily. But if you put a volume histogram, it would look something like this, you know, to the right. That would show you that there is just an unwillingness of gold to trade at this level. But when I saw this happen right here, I knew that that was a significant event and there was no way in the world I wanted to hang on to the GDX trade because in a lot of ways the GDX is a proxy to this. But what I am seeing now is even more important. Um, and as I said a few weeks back that I felt like the uh, bond bulls were in trouble, well, I'm thinking that the gold bulls might be experiencing some problems here in the, in the near future. And that is because not only am I seeing this price compression on a vertical range up and down, but we're also seeing this on a time level where if we draw these time pivots in here, these major pivots, and we, we, we bring them in and just highlight them with a vertical line, you can see that the compression is getting closer and closer together. And it looks like it, the chart is strongly suggesting that we're about to break out to the downside, especially since we had this massive failure right here. Let me blow that up now and look at it closer. This is a big failure, and this zone is so key to trade around that now I think that the thing, the prudent thing to do is actually to be um, looking for short. Now, was the short trade back here? Possibly, but things were so wild. I mean, if you recall that day, it dropped like a rock. So it, there wasn't really much opportunity. But I'll be looking for structure here now because I, I'm i just saying that I feel like the odds here for the downside in gold are is very high. And because these, these charts do uh, suggest that an asymmetrical move is in the works because of the squeeze, uh, it's looking like now after that rejection that that asymmetrical move could be in this direction in some manner or another. Hi, my name is Mike with the Shadow Trader Squawk Box. If you enjoyed this video today, please feel free to hit the like and the subscribe buttons below. And if you'd like to trade along with me every day, looking for trade ideas, studying charts together, check out the link below to the Shadow Trader Squawk Box. I wish you good trading and I'll see you in the room.